you see as this hoffman rearrangement is used to prepare amines from amides so we'll see one amide that is c double bond o nh2 and if one nh2 is added or attached to this side it becomes urea now this particular urea when undergoes hoffman rearrangement in presence of naoh and br2 it will eliminate c co and it will convert into nh2 nh2 and this is hydrazine and hydrazine is a useful reducing agent so formation of hydrazine is the best application of hoffman rearrangement now we'll see another example formation of beta amino pyridine now this is beta amino pyridine structure this is pyridine beta amino pyridine means at third position nh2 is there this pyridine is a heterocyclic compound and whenever it undergoes nucleophilic substitution reaction if we want to add or if we want to add nh2 to this substitute this hydrogen of pyridine by nh2 then always reaction occurs at second position so it is impossible to get three amino pyridine we will get always two amino pyridine but this hoffman rearrangement is used to produce three amino pyridine here we have to use nicotinamide means at third position co nh2 group is there when it is treated with koh or naoh in presence of bromine on heating this c double bond o will be eliminated and we are getting three amino pyridine so this is also another application of hoffman rearrangement now we'll see third application many applications are there but we will see very few when acid is there we are having any acid that acid first converted into amide by reaction with we can say on reaction with nh4oh it will be first produces ammonium salt on dehydration it will gives amide rco nh2 oh will be replaced by nh2 and this amide on hoffman rearrangement it will be converted into rnh2 so this is best example that is acid can be converted into amine number of amino acids are also produced are also produced by this reaction thank you